series moves to Yankee Stadium for the third game. Walter O'Malley, president of the Brooklyn Club, his wife and son are enjoying the situation immensely. Another happy group includes President Warren Giles of the National League and two members of his staff, Fred Flagg and Dave Grody. Brooklyn's two coaches, Billy Herman and Jake Pitler, who were so busy waving runners around the bases at Ebbets Field, hope the activity continues. Starting pitches for the third game are Whitey Ford and Roger Craig. After a scoreless first inning, Robinson walks to open the Brooklyn second. Hodges smashes the ball to deep short, and both runners are safe when Robinson slides into second ahead of McDougal's throw. Urillo flies to Bauer, and Robinson takes third. Campanella follows with a long drive to right field. Bauer slips as he starts for the ball but recovers and makes a sparkling catch in front of the Yankee bullpen. And Robinson trots home to give the Dodgers a one to nothing lead. With one out in the Yankee half of the second, Martin drives the ball into the left field seats and the game is tied at one and one. No further scoring threat until Reese triples to right center with one out in the Brooklyn six. Snyder then sends Mantle deep for his 400 foot drive to center field. Reese has plenty of time to score and put Brooklyn back in the lead two to one. With one out and Bauer on first following a single, Berra keeps the rally rolling with a single to right center and Bauer dashes to third. Slaughter is the next batter and works the cautious Craig to a three and one count. Craig then makes one too good for Slaughter and he propels the ball into the right field stand, scoring Bauer and Berra ahead of him and sending the Yankees out in front four to two. Slaughter is given a hero's welcome by the Yankee bench. And when he goes to the outfield, the fans in his sector give him another special ovation. Guerrillo opens the ninth with a 400 foot smash to right center. He races past second base and is out at third when Martin throws a strike on a relay from Bauer. Perry tosses out Charlie Neal for the last out and the Yankees win five to three. The fans depart talking about the ageless slaughter and the excellent pitching of Whitey Ford who scattered eight hits for his fourth World Series victory.